Well, good morning, everybody, again. Welcome to the third week of December. It's, Christmas is only one week away. It's crazy. One week from today. It's, it's crazy how quick it has came upon us, and it's going to be a joyful time. Um, just something that for you guys, as always, really quick. Boys and girls, I hope you had a good uh, good time on Sunday, as you saw what my Christmas character was, and I was pretty crazy, you know, so hope you had a good time with that. Uh, hope you had a good Monday. Hopefully you guys should be on Christmas break here soon, I would think. Who likes Christmas break? Christmas break is what's up, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully Christmas break will be free for you soon. If it's not, hang in there. It's almost here. It's almost here. Parents, it's almost here. You get to hang out with your kids, so take advantage of that opportunity. Do something fun with them on, on, on their Christmas break. There you go, kids. I, you know, talk to the parents for you. You know, give me high fives later for that. Got you. So anyway, today what I want to talk to you about is just to kind of wrap up the Christmas season here <clears throat> in a way. It's kind of like Inspector Joe Bear. Who's gonna miss Inspector Joe Bear? You know, this is probably gonna be the last time that we see him, at least for a while. I know I'm gonna miss him. He's been with us for a few months now here on Tuesdays, so I'm gonna miss him. But just like he said, we needed to do. We need to go out and share the good news. We need to go out and tell people about Jesus. Because you see, what good? I mean, well, you know, let me put it like this. How many of you boys and girls have gotten the best, oh, like an awesome Christmas present? Like the thing that you really, really wanted, and you were so excited about it, you just had to go out and tell your friends. Anybody ever have that? See, that's what we need to be with, with Jesus. Because like we talked about last week, and like we've talked about this whole month, Jesus is the best present ever. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He is the best present ever. So what we need to do is we need to go out to our friends, our neighbors, or whoever, and we need to tell people about the best present ever. We don't want to keep it to ourselves. We want to share it with other people. This whole year that I've been with you guys, or this whole half of the year that I've been with you guys, we've talked about being superheroes for Jesus, and then we talked about going back in time, but overall it keeps on being brought up about how to be a witness to people, how to share Jesus with people. Because that's what it's all about. How many of you guys would like to see this room completely like packed out with kids? I think that would be pretty sweet. I think if we were going to be able to get so many kids here on a Sunday morning, you know, that we'd have to be like, move down to the basement or something and praise Jesus down there and learn about Jesus together. That's what it's all about, guys. It's about sharing Jesus with our friends, our family, our neighbors, whoever doesn't know Jesus. Because it's good news. You know, like we talked about when the shepherds, when we talked about the shepherds, the shepherds went out and they shared the good news after they, met, after they saw Jesus in the manger. So that's my challenge to you guys this week. Find somebody who doesn't know Jesus and talk to him about him, whoever it may be. We all have, I'm sure we all have friends who don't know Jesus, who don't come to church. Or invite them to church to be like, yo, you gotta come see this really weird dude. He makes these weird YouTube videos. He does this weird Wednesday night stuff. He does this weird Sunday morning stuff. He makes a fool out of himself all the time. Come see this dude, and we can laugh at him together. That's me, because you all laugh at me. But, hey, you know what? It is what it is. I love what I do. I love sharing Jesus with you guys. I love sharing Jesus with people in general. So my challenge is for you guys to find somebody to invite to church and be a witness to this week. And Every week, for that matter. And we're going to talk more and more about this kind of stuff as we roll into 2019. You're not going to want to miss out what we have in 2019. So it's going to be super sweet. So, with that said, remember, tomorrow night is party time up in here. It's Christmas party time, yo. We will be having a Christmas party here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Uh, last week, Bob and Builder and Doof has left us. That's it for them. <clears throat> I'm sure we'll see him again at some point, but next or tomorrow it's going to be all about the Christmas party. We're going to party it up, you know. We're going to be like, hey, oh, hey, Merry Christmas, people! So it's going to be awesome. So we will see you here tomorrow night, and then Sunday, of course, boys and girls on our candy cane dress up day. You can wear red and white, or if you want to attach a big candy cane to you, you can do that too. So I'll see you tomorrow night. All right? Have a great Tuesday, everybody.